Have you noticed a funky smell coming from your instrument whenever you're playing? Maybe it's time that you give your instrument a bath. The first step to giving your instrument a bath is take it apart and put it on a flat, soft surface. Be very careful that you don't dent the slides. Then go to your bathtub and fill it up with lukewarm water, not hot. This might take the lacquer off and that would be very bad for your instrument. Just lukewarm. Then get some regular dish soap. Remember, whatever scent the dish soap is, is the scent your instrument's going to smell like. So if you don't want it to smell like a rainforest, don't get rainforest soap. Fill your bathtub up with about an inch to an inch and a half of water. Make sure that it's not too hot. Carefully place your inner slide into the soapy water. Remember to get all the bubbles out so that there's no uh, extra air in there. Carefully put in your outer slide. This one will have a lot of bubbles. Make sure all the air is out of the slide before you let go. Otherwise, it won't get clean. Then, carefully put your bell in. Make sure it doesn't hit the slides. And don't worry if some of it sticks out. You can put some water on it, or we'll take care of that problem later. You don't need to fill your tub up so that it covers it. Don't forget to put your mouthpiece in the water as well. All of this will soak for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, take your bell and flip it over so that the other side is in the water. This way, the soap gets on all the parts of the bell. Everything else can just sit in the water and wait. Once everything is nice and soaked, go ahead and take out your inner slide and grab your snake and run your snake through the inner slide. Put it all the way through so that the brush pops out the bottom end. Then pull it back towards you. Do not run it all the way through, or you might drop your slide. It's fine just the way you're doing it. Do the same thing on the other slide. Pull it through. Once it pops out the bottom, pull it back out. Then put your slide back in the water and let it soak some more. Do the same thing with the outer slide, but be very careful when you put it in. As soon as you feel tension or it gets stuck, stop and pull it back out. Do not try to run it all the way through, or it'll get stuck on the... Uh, water key or spit valve. One, do the same thing on the other side, wait till it stops, and then pull it out. After you're done, get rid of the water, then put it back in. Don't forget to get the bubbles out of the slide. Now take your bell. The only part that needs to have the snake in it is the small side. Run it through until it stops, and then pull it back out. Don't worry about the large side of the bell. It'll, it's probably clean enough already. Then grab your mouthpiece. With your mouthpiece brush, brush the cup side all the way through. Then do the same thing on the shank side. You may want to put some water in it and then do a little bit more if it's really dirty. Now grab a towel. Don't use your mom's nice Olaf towels. Grab an old towel that she doesn't mind getting dirty. Much better. Now take all the parts of your instrument out and lay them on a soft, flat surface on the ground, not on a table so that they fall. Be very careful with your slides not to let them touch and then grab the old towel and dry everything off. Make sure you get all of the water out of your instrument. If any water gets left in and you put it in your case, it's going to get the case wet and then make the case smell really bad. Make sure it's dry. After everything's dry, make sure you put slide cream back on your slide. There. Now you can play trombone like a master. And it smells nice and clean as well. Isn't that awesome?